Hello lovely folks, welcome to TechEye and today in this video I'll be doing a quick review for Joy UI 13 ROM port for Mutual devices which are Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro and Redmi Note 10 Lite. The ROM has been ported by Rishi. So let's dive right in. So this is Joy UI ported from Black Shark 5 that is based on MIUI 13 on top of Android 12. The name of UI changes, it just feels like you're using a theme on MIUI, no significant changes UI wise. What you'll notice is different from MIUI is main settings page, accent color which is green instead of blue and a few themes and wallpapers. You'll see these four apps Shark Chan, Shark Space, Light Effect and Player Manual. Shark Chan is a smart assistant that's like a talking tom that you can interact with but not completely the same. There are some actions that she can do. She'll call you commander and you can read more about what she is in her profile and story. Plus, there's a cool charging animation that you can enable in Shark Chan app. Shark Space is like a game center that provides you some handy features that are really useful while playing games such as accidental touch prevention, call rejection, bullet comment that are highly customizable. Monitor floating window that can display frame rate and CPU frequency. A silent hang up mode. and some other basic settings to customize the app itself like opening animation and wallpaper etc. The player manual is, as its name suggests, is a player manual, but on a device other than the Black Shark itself, do not expect that the manual applies to your phone, not specially on Cortana. A lot of hardware related features won't work. The same applies to light effect. We don't have any lights on our Mi at all, so it's completely unusable. And it's not the fault of ROM. In settings, you can see the always on display and notification lights option, but this does not seem to work. The ROM does a good job in terms of gaming. My friend played Free Fire on it and he said it's quite good. Even when the graphics were set to ultra and there were no lags or stutters during gameplay. And after all, it's our curtain under the hood. Let's talk about UI. Joy UI is basically MIUI as I told before, it's just the theme that makes it different. There are four built-in themes out of which only two works. 
There are two dozens of wallpapers ranging from newest to oldest Black Shark devices. The system launcher provided can't seem to disable app drawer but has a cool app downloading animation that were introduced with Android 12 and have been there on iOS for quite some time. The only bug I noticed is that you can't decrease volume by pressing the volume down button. Also just to let you know that the ROM does not offer any camera app so I'm using a Gcam port. This is how the ROM is performing in terms of power consumption. It's since I've been using the ROM so it will be too quick to say anything about the battery performance. Overall I didn't feel much difference between this ROM and the official MIUI 13.0.2.0 that I've been using on my phone most recently. This ROM is not terrifically smooth and all but you could stay on your MIUI if that's what you're using because there's no difference as I said 100 times. But if you are just too much bored with the MIUI and want to try Shark Chan or something like that, you can give this ROM a try, especially when your phone is not your primary device because you know all of your data will be cleaned if you plan to flash this ROM because Clean Wipe is recommended to flash this ROM. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.